if you're thinking about things that way and can drive that mindset to your leadership, you're just adding more value to your position in the company. Everyone wants more budget. Everyone wants more headcount. You're talking about uh, how do you incentivize people to make the shift? You have currently a certain amount of committed investment to your customer service area, customer success, escalations, social media monitoring, uh, loyalty programs, churn reduction, the acquisition addiction to make up for churn, you know, put all that together. That's a fantastic amount of money. Mm-hmm. You're committed to spend that this quarter, next quarter, next year, the next year, because how do you get out of it, right? You're going to lose something if you don't do these things. And that's why companies are doing them. There's three levels of customer experience improvement. First is uh, resolving the instance. And that's what everybody's working on is how do we solve things when a customer brings to our attention that they weren't happy about something, they're confused about something, they're about to stop buying from us. That's resolving the instance. The second thing is uh, preventing recurrence of a prevalent issue. You've got to do the correlation analysis to identify what are my biggest gains going to be in terms of what's connected to loyalty. Do the Pareto analysis of the, those uh, key drivers of the, the strong correlated items. So the 80-20 rule is the Pareto mm-hmm. rule. And when you have when you can address the, the 80%, then you know essentially that issue is almost negated. You have to coordinate with other groups if you're going to prevent recurrence of the root issue. That's how you create a customer experience annuity because when you're done with that thing and the vital few are not happening anymore, now it's freeing up all of that funding that had to be going to those things. For example, you might have a lot of engineers who are troubleshooting. Guess mm-hmm. what? They don't have to be troubleshooting anymore. Now the engineers can create new value. They can exactly. design something. The value can be exponential from these CX annuities because you can take those resources and put them to something that might have a huge trajectory or you know, just multiple ways that it's benefiting you in not dragging you down any further. Um, not having to make up for those those lost customers. And then there's preventing occurrence for everyone. Mm-hmm. And that's where we're using those expectations personas to guide every group in our company to be congruent with that. It's a lot more fun to do work. People are going to want to to stay with your brand uh, of all types, employees, customers, partners, suppliers. It just makes things so much more magnetic.